Well, folks, how's doing? Hope you're all well. Hope you've all had a good day so far. So, um, I think I say is, with my next year, the positivity channel, I'm going to be saying about full negativity. So I'm going to get any negative stuff out my system before <laughs> before the end of this year's out. Um, anybody asks me to pass a mesh on, I'm going to be doing it again because they're if I had a mesh or somebody else, you know, okay, they be talking about me, blah, blah. But I got asked to pass a mesh on to someone on YouTube, somebody else, and okay, it's like one after another, it's like, can you never keep, can you ever do anything right? But um, I'm going to see the person is, fuck what I'm going to do with them. But um, aye, so... I'm supposed to go through Edinburgh, um, to have a nice wee night, but I'm really feeling too good, can't even like choke with the cold wee bit, so I might leave it tonight, maybe leave it to the morning, but um, I didn't dug a wee walk earlier on, and I sat there to see if you think about things, um, oh, I wanted to say thank you to all my followers, and um, all my good friends, and there's so many comments of, I hate to go to my YouTube studio to see exactly all my comments. And um, so I'll just say thank you to each and every one who's congratulated me uh, on my recent good news lately. Um, I want to also Merry Christmas back to each and every one of you who's wish me Merry Christmas. And I want to say Happy New Year when it comes. Um, I hope you all have a fantastic 2024. Um, I hope it's full of love and happiness and uh, as much positivity as you possibly can in your life. Hit the gym, get training, eat well, eat healthy. Uh, that's what my plan is. My plan is going back to Warriors Boxing Gym. Uh, I think my dad's going to go back with me. If no, my partner says she'd like to go with me. Or me and my dad and my partner can go together. Um, I'm very close to the man that runs that. Um, through Covid, can he... Um, he teed on out for me, which he didn't hate to do. He, um, he told me and my dad on, he was his personal trainer. I was 19.8 stone. And um, what he done was, um, basically gave me and my dad, it should be a personal trainer one on one. So it should be like, I, I can't remember, I just say it should be, just say 150 pound a month, right? So you just split it into two, 75, 75, and then two and twos on the ones. Um, didn't hate to do that, he did do that. Um, but his boxing gym is brilliant, it's a mixture of females and males um, obviously he's got his kids classes and that as well but um, he takes all his spare time out of me um, so I like to get back to the boxing that is, I've been seeing this for months but I've been in so much pain um, my, my bones and that but I've noticed I take my CMOS, CMOS helps so <sighs> swimming and back to boxing is my two main hobbies that I will be doing. And I'm also um, going to buy another um, another wee studio for for songwriting because not only folk know this, but back in 2018 I was um, supposed to meet up with four different people regarding ghostwriting um, as poetries which I can do best and um, every parent, even my father would tell or your, your son's a class clown but when it comes to poetry in music, English, if you go far, um, even in prison, I was writing three, four hundred songs in a two and three hundred period, and photo of my songs would be blown away. Um, so, songwriting, um, I supposed to meet an upcoming band back in 2018. They're like, I'm very interested in songs for them. And a man called Charles Rose for Edinburgh, who's used to be very big in the music industry in the UK. It was something day he was um, related, not related, sorry, but he was involved with the Proclaimers and to a few other bands. But I contacted Charles Rose through a DJ called Paul Davidson, PD, who used to DJ with John Mancini, who was Scotland's probably most famous DJ. Calvin Harris, his very first set, I believe it was. 